proper handling and manipulation of the compound microscope. First and foremost, how to carry the microscope. We need to use both hands. If you are right-handed, get hold of the arm of the microscope with your right hand while your left hand should support its base. Carry it near your body in an upright position and bring it from the stockroom to your laboratory table carefully. As soon as you reach your laboratory table, place the microscope about a palms away from the edge of the table very gently. Next, if you are left-handed, do otherwise. Get hold of the arm or hold the arm of the microscope with your left hand and support the base with your right hand carrying the microscope uprightly not swinging it on your side like a handbag and place that microscope about a pumps away from the edge of the table very gently next how to properly manipulate the microscope first you need to check if all parts of the microscope are in place, like if there is an ocular or an eyepiece, the mirror, and so with the other parts that are removable. If everything is in place and nothing is broken, you may proceed. Now how to focus? First, prepare your specimen. There are two kinds of specimen that we can view under the microscope. One is called a fresh mount. This is an example of a fresh mount. I place a drop of water on the glass slide and I place the cut out letter, small letter E, above the drop of water and I covered it with a glass, with a cover slip. Another is called a prepared slide. A prepared slide can be purchased from companies that prepare them and they already hold a particular specimen. In this case, the label is allium sepa root tip or in English, this is onion root tip. And you can see LS, letter L and letter S that stands for longitudinal section. So this is an example of a prepared slide. So you can see there is already the specimen mounted on the slide. While this other one, I prepared it myself. So I used a cutout of a small letter E. Okay, next, I position this wet mount or fresh mount on the stage and I make sure that the letter E is facing me that I read it uprightly the way I write it so positioning the slide on the stage requires you to make to make way for the stage by adjusting the stage clips towards the side and make sure that one corner of the glass slide snugly fits this angle while the other corner is fastened directly by the stage clip. I hope you can see this clearly. Next, are we now ready to focus or look through the ocular? Not yet, okay? The next thing we do is to check for our source of light. If you think your source of light is coming from that side of your window, from that side of the room, then adjust your mirror by turning your mirror rack or your mirror fork towards where much of the light is coming from. If you think that the light comes from the lamps inside your laboratory, 
Then let your mirror face the lamp where the direction of the light is coming from. Okay, then do not look through the ocular yet. So while looking on the side of the microscope, lower the body tube and make sure that the lowest objective is in place. So I have already adjusted that my LPO or low power objective has click in place. Okay, you can hear the clicking. So that means that my LPO is aligned with a body tube, with a draw tube, and with my ocular. Okay, the next thing you do is look at the sides. And while looking at the sides, using the coarse adjustment knob, lower down the body tube. Lower it down until there is the shortest gap or distance between the glass slide and the tip of the objective. See to it that the letter E is right beneath the tip of the low power objective. Okay, now, why are you supposed to look at the sides while lowering the body tube and not look through the ocular as you're doing that? If you do that, especially for beginners, okay, let me just raise this up again. If you look through the ocular while lowering the body tube, you might not be able to notice that the tip of the objective is already hitting and smashing the cover slip. So you will not just be breaking the cover slip, but you will also be breaking the cover, the glass slide. So always the tip is, while lowering the body tube, look at the side of the microscope. And once you have, you have obtained the shortest distance or gap between the tip of the objective and the glass slide that is now the time for you to look through the ocular. So when you look through the ocular, make sure there is enough lighting. There should be good lighting so that you can clearly see the image of your specimen. And using the coarse adjustment knob, Take note, course adjustment knob, very, very slowly, very, very gradually, raise the body tube up by turning the course adjustment knob towards your direction. Again, very slowly, very gently, turn the course adjustment knob towards your direction as you are to raise the body tube. And while you're doing that, you will be able to come up with the initial view of the image. Initial view means that the image is not that very clear yet. Okay, how to obtain a very clear image of the specimen? This time you make use of the fine adjustment knob. So for the fine adjustment knob, Okay, you can either move it towards you or away from you while you are looking through the ocular. And that will make the image of the specimen, as I've said, either more blurred or more clear. So once you have, obtain you have obtained a very clear image, that's it. Okay, you are ready to examine the image that you are trying to magnify under your microscope okay now how to clean how to do, pack your microscope and return it so remove the glass slide that you used make sure that the lowest objective is in place the mirror is in place okay and then just carry it again with both hands very gently returning the unit to the stock room next how to shift
from one objective to another. So let me just place back this class slide. This time, I'm using the prepared slide of allium sepa or onion root tip. So notice that I want my specimen aligned right below the objective and right above the hole of the stage. Okay? So take note, the LPO is in place. Always begin with the lowest objective. So adjust your source of light. And while looking at the sides, lower down the body tube until there is a very short gap or distance between the tip of the objective and the glass slide. Then look through the ocular. Okay, I hope you know the drill. Look through the ocular. Slowly raise. Very gently turn this towards you as you raise the body tube. Why are you not supposed to turn this abruptly like that? Abruptly or very sudden. Because if you do that, you will be missing out on the image. Okay, so do it very gradually until you see the initial image. Initial meaning not clear yet. Then to make it clearer, use the fine adjustment knob. Now, you want to make the image look bigger. So you can shift from low power to high power. Make sure that the aperture of your iris diaphragm is also open by turning the lever. Okay, I can now see the view of the allium sepa cells under low power. This time, I would like to shift to high so that the cells will be looking bigger. So what to do? Will I raise the body tube again? No. Just leave it as it is with a clear view of the cells and then all you have to do is rotate and shift from low until the high power objective clicks in place. Okay, did you hear the clicking? Again, there should be a clicking of the objective in place. Okay, that means that the objective is aligned. Then, without touching the course, all you have to do is just make use of the fine adjustment knob until you see the bigger view of the image. This time, I can see bigger cells of allium sepa. Okay? And I am not going to use the oil immersion objective now, but just for purposes of demonstration okay before you can view anything under oio all you have to do first is raise the body tube up rotate until you have the oio in place put a drop of immersion oil right above the glass slide and then lower the body tube while looking at the sides until the tip of the OIO is immersed or comes in contact with a drop of immersion oil. Okay? The moment it is touching the drop of oil, okay, that's the time that you start looking for the view of the image by using the fine adjustment knob. Okay? And again, OIO is oftentimes used in microbiology classes for us to view images of microorganisms such as bacteria. And I would like to show you how the view from here is seen. I hope this works. Or let me just cut this video and show you a different video or picture. Thank you.